Time for another uh, retro play. Um, this time it's Blagger, the 1983, uh, as you can sort of see from the screens, uh, Manic, Manic, Manic Minor Clone, originally developed by Tony Crowther and published by Alligator. Um, a bit of a pickup not too long ago, and wanted to just check it out, see what it's like. I'm not the biggest fan of Manic Minor, um, and we can already sort of see some of the patterns why a lot of the really precise pixel perfect jumps. But I'll dive in, start again, and see how it goes. So the basic guy, you are Roger the Dodger. Um, I believe Blagger is like a slang term for, you know, the even criminal. You're basically raiding places, stealing the keys to get access to the loot, and making off with a lot of, load of cash. So there's like, surprisingly 30 screens, which is pretty nice improvement when you think about it. Standard joystick or, or keyboard controls, which probably makes a lot of sense. Early days, ugh. Not doing that well so far. So you can sort of see it's the same kind of setup. You have your timer, very tricky jumps, and you. In this case, you need to collect the five keys. Pfft, terror. I'm not doing well at all. And that's game over. Oops. Try again. A pretty simple title screen, it's all fairly simple, colourful enough graphics, not much in terms of sound. Um, truth be told, the little jingle that plays every time you collect a key gets really annoying really fast. Um, so I guess if you collect these keys, you avoid the various traps, the falling floors, the, the, the robot or whatever it is out the front. Um, one thing I do like is when you do a long, long jump, um, when you do a long jump, you'll actually, um, if you fall too far, you'll die, it'll actually show you, you'll, you'll turn, you'll change colour. Uh, well, this game looks like it's pretty much in the bag, so I may as well show you. Uh, I see, turn red before, to indicate that he's fallen too far. Um, <laughs> I mean, I've, so far I've not been able to make it past screen 2, so it's a little harder than Manic Minor was. Um, I can at least get a few screens into that, but granted that's been playing on a Spectrum emulator and not a real Spectrum. Um, for some reason, the C64 conversion of Manic Minor really wasn't that good. I mean, I don't know, you know, you might, your mileage might vary about whether you like the game to begin with. To, the, you, whether you might like the game to begin with. But, um, it was really one of those where it just wasn't a good version of the game to begin with. So, let's try and do this. I'd like to at least get to level two. And it's the only way I got that, that current high score. Um, and I'd like to try and beat that. <laughs> At least for this. So the controls feel nice and precise. I'm actually playing with a different joystick. Uh, you can probably hear the clicks. Go micro switches. Uh, I do like you've actually got five lives rather than rather than three. But I think that's to sort of compensate that this game is incredibly tough. So. I mean, Black was originally released on the C64, it then got conversions down the line to a whole bunch of other machines. But then there are also two follow-ups, um, Son of Blagger and Blagger Goes to Hollywood. I know, I believe Crowther was involved in the first one, um, but I don't believe he was he was connected with um, uh, Blagger Goes to Hollywood. And I've not really played either of those, I might help them out later, but I haven't got them in any fines or anything. Um, so here's the thing, it's like, as I said, I'm not the biggest fan of this really pixel-perfect platforming. You know, you've got the time, you know, the time, time's a fair amount of time, it's not, you know, you don't have to rush your way through. But then you do things like that.
he's collecting damage, you have to avoid last obstacle. And get to the safe. And we finish level one. So you can see, you know, toy stages here. And all, the, all the stages of Thieves Someone, you are in the sweet factory. But there's not really many changes in terms of, you know, you elements of gameplay. Except it's just as hard. <laughs> well, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, so I've seen the first stage. I'm not going to get onto the second anytime soon. Um, I mean, you saw the first stage and the second stage. I might let the track roll a bit, but that's pretty much everything. I mean, I don't mind. It's not a bad game. It's you know, smooth, colourful. Yeah, you know, no real, no music or sound. Pretty basic. My only real complaint is it's just really hard. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, thanks again for watching. Thanks again to all subscribers, and I look forward to showing you another game soon.